Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking a different route with my topic. And I think the best thing to do is to start this conversation explaining my role as a life coach and life coaches in general. Um, and then we'll get into the whys. Why am, why am I talking about this today? So let's dig in here for a moment. My focus as a life coach is on people that are survivors of a topic, toxic relationship, especially those that have been in a relationship with a person that has narcissistic personality disorder. I help people as a life coach get to where they want to go in life. And many coaches call it bridge the gap. So what in the world is bridging the gap? Bridging the gap with a life coach has nothing to do with counseling or therapy. Not at, not at all. Life coaches do not treat disorders. Life coaches refer clients that require counseling to professionals that have the credentials to counsel or to provide therapy. A life coach, a certified life coach, one that is trained, one that follows the the, the um, processes of a life coach, this is a part of our code of ethics. We do not treat. We are not therapists. Life coaches help their clients see what they already have in place. So when I'm, what is, you know, we help, we empower clients to move forward in life towards a given goal using the wisdom, what they had, and this is what I mean by having in place. They use the wisdom, their values, and the instincts, instincts they are, that they already possess, for example. So we help people use what they already have. We help them see we can take this step, we can take these measures, um, we can make this choice in our life. I already possess this. We empower you to use what you already have. We are not teach teachers. We are not therapists. So, you know, you might ask, why in the world do people pay a life coach to tell them, you know, what they already know? What well, they don't know it because a lot of people don't know what they don't know. And I, I've actually been in coaching situations myself through a business life coach or a personal life coach. We don't know what we don't know. And sometimes as we're talking, it's like journaling as we're talking, we figure it out. We say, oh my gosh. And it may not happen right then and there, but it comes to us later. What did we say? What did we learn from that? And we all possess the ability to move forward in life. Sometimes we just don't see that. Sometimes we don't see that we can go from step A to step B. And that's what our job as a life coach. We don't, life coaches are not um, advice givers. We interject at a minimum level when we have permission to do so from the clients. Our role is to listen. You've heard that old statement, I'm all ears. Well, that's what a life coach is. We listen. Listening is the number one best quality of a good communicator, a listener, one that truly listens, one that hears what you're saying, one that has empathy, one that isn't jumping ahead of a step or in thinking things about what you're, you know, trying to figure out what you're going to say before you even say it. No, we listen. We listen to your words. We listen to your choices. We listen to your decisions. We listen to your stories. And then what we do is, we ask questions to help release the fact that you already possess the answers. Well, we help you see what actions you can take. And we ask that you take actions, that you take steps. We guide you in that direction. We don't tell you what to do, but we ask what can you do. And everyone possesses this. It's very interesting. So moving on to the topic of this vlog First of all, I'm going to tell you I'm miffed. I am so tired of seeing therapists and counselors post on vlogs and blogs that life coaches do not have the know-how to treat people with syndromes or trauma caused by narcissistic abuse. I personally haven't seen life coaches attempt or say that they treat any of this, but I can tell you I don't. 
And I can tell you that I possess life knowledge of narcissism. I have had to set my own boundaries in life personally as a life coach, but I know my boundaries as a life coach as well. This isn't about my own personal story. I'm just sharing with you how I got into the niche of narcissistic relationships. I believe that we all continuously learn in life. I don't believe we know everything there is to know, even those that have degrees as therapists, um, is certified as counselors. Um, I just believe we don't know everything. It's just a day by day learning process. And we all have to continually, you know, in order to grow, we continually learn. You know, as I said before, my role is to listen, to guide through question asking, to help, help individuals reach their goals in life. And this does not involve treatment of any sort. If there's something from your past that needs to be fixed, and it's causing you mental issues today. I am I am not going to be your life coach. I'm going to say, hey, I can recommend this therapist. I'll recommend this counselor. But you and I can't work together. And I have to sever this relationship. Because, you know, I'm here to emphasize, to listen, to have empathy. To listen, to guide you through with questions. And, you know, my job is to empower you with, through what you already possessed, possess. So to sum it all up, if I can help one person identify that they either number one are in a relationship with a narcissist or number two, they've come out of a toxic relationship and they help this person identify that, oh, wow, there's a name for this toxic relationship and whoa, there's some information out there that that just rings a bell with me and I'm not the only one dealing with this. I mean, that's so freeing. It's incredibly freeing. So, you know, if, if I can help do this in life, I've, I've met my role in life. I've met it. I've, I've accomplished my God given mission and that's all there is to it. Okay. So people can talk away. We've all got freedom of speech, but I just thought it was time to stand up for, me as a life coach not that I have any of these none of these comments um, were directed towards me personally but um, as I said before I am miffed at these comments um, I think sometimes people get so wrapped up up in what they do as a therapist as a counselor as a whatever a scientist whatever that they lose track of the outside world. They're not so much people anymore as they are machines. Oh, I can't treat that because that disorder doesn't have a name. Narcissistic personality disorder, trauma. And I said that backwards, but um, moving on. Y'all have a beautiful day and um, please hit the subscribe button and like button and help a newbie out. Take care.